I have my position variable that obviously as you move around the board um, is going to increase. So what we want to do is every time we roll a dice we want to update the position on the board. So I can say position is equal to the position plus the total from the dice but again we could use the shorthand way of writing that which is plus equals the total and then we can uh, send position to display print position brackets now remembering that there's only 0 to 39 when we run that oops, you'll notice that that position keeps on increasing and increasing and increasing all the time uh, I'll just add some text there just so we can tell what's going on now what we want to do is the minute we get above square 39 we need to basically go back to zero again so if the position exceeds 39 so you can say if position greater than 39 then we need to subtract uh, 39 from current position so we can say position equals position minus 39 uh, to update that. So if we run it again now, what we'll see that we're position 6, 18, 26, and as it runs and runs and runs, it starts to reset all the time. So if they landed on square 40, that would have to be zero, which has actually just made me realise we've figured out that it's maybe 40 we have to subtract in fact if you go above 39 you'd have to be on square 40 which would be 0 if you land on 41 that would be square 1 and so on so yeah we have to subtract 40 rather than 39 in fact um, because obviously that would put you on the wrong square and let's just see what other parts we had to complete in here place you on the board square 0 to yeah, so that would adjust to show us the correct square. Uh, the only thing that's wrong with my code here is that the output's not the same as the example. So if you can update that, that will show me that you're able to do at least some of this on your own. So make sure your output matches uh, the, the square you are on. Now the advanced challenges, um, is to get sent to jail if you land on the appropriate square. Now when I count the squares up, uh, jail will be on 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 30. So jail is on the 30th square. So what I want to do is check if you're ever on square 30. So if uh, position is jail, which is position 30. So keeping the consistent indentation, if position equals equals 30, then we want to set uh, game to false. We'll just say that that's game over. Game equals false. Uh, send you landed on go to jail. To Display. So print you landed on go to jail. And what I'm going to do is just to test that this part works. I know that my uh, dice part works, so I won't print that and I'll hide the doubles part just to make it a bit easier to read what's going on in our screen. So there it only took a few throws this time, landed on position 30, was sent to jail run it again, so again landed on jail that time, very unlucky uh, 
that so you can see that it's just your luck because this one's running a lot longer before we get to land on jail but then eventually land on jail again. Uh, I won't show how to do number one in the programming skills challenge or number two. I think the viewer should be more than capable of doing these but you should now be able to complete everything on that Monopoly page including the very first skills challenge. 